So here we have which two of the following factors influence the design of Bakelite products are mentioned in the text. That's what we have to find. Which two? Two what? Two factors influencing the design of Bakelite objects. Okay? Now, we make sure we understand the topic, which is the factors influencing the design. What things influence the design of the objects? And now we read these choices first. We read them. A, the function that the object would serve. B, the ease with which the resin would fill the mold. C, the facility with which the object could be removed. D, the limitation of the materials used to manufacture the mold. E, the fashionable styles of the period. Okay, now, I read them one more time, and I highlight important information. So, the function that the object would serve. The ease with which the resin would fill the mold, right? The facility with which the object could be removed the limitations of the materials used to manufacture the mold, and the fashionable styles of the period. So now we have to find out where to start looking. Remember, this is a long essay, a lot of information. Are we going to start skimming and scanning from the beginning to find this information? No. The question tells us where we should find the information. It's the design. This question is about the design of the bake-like objects. So we need to find a paragraph that talks about the design. So first paragraph is about Leo Bakeland, not about the design. The term plastic, not about the design. The history, not about the design. His interests, not about the design of the objects, right? So right here, four paragraphs, we're not going to find the information. Okay, the original patent outlined a three-stage process. This is a process. Is this the design? No, it is not. Okay. Ah, the design of bake-like objects. This is where we begin looking for the information. Okay. We have just eliminated four paragraphs. We've saved a lot of time by looking for where to begin searching first. Okay. All right, so... This is my paragraph. I'm going to go back down here to look at my information again. Okay, we're looking for two that influence the design of the bake-like objects. The function, the ease, the facility, limitation, and fashion. Okay, now, ease and facility are the same thing. Okay, the ease with which the resin could fill, the facility with which the object could be removed, the function the object would serve. Okay, so anyway, let's take a look. Okay, so the design of bake-like objects, everything from earrings to tele television sets, was governed to a large extent by the te technical requirements of the molding process. Okay, the object could not be designed so that it was locked into the mold and therefore difficult to extract. Extract means remove, therefore difficult to extract. It could not be difficult to remove. Aha, here we go, right here. This is our answer. It can't be difficult to remove. This says the facility or the ease with which the object can be removed. This is one of our answers. Okay, extract and remove mean the same thing. Let's continue. Okay, start here. A common general rule was that an object should taper towards the deepest part of the mold, and if necessary, the product was molded in separate pieces. Okay. Nothing there. Molds had to be carefully designed so that the molten big light would flow evenly and completely into the mold. Molds had to be carefully designed so the molten big light would flow evenly and completely into the mold. So we have removing the mold and into the mold. And here we have fill. Okay, so our answer here is X. This question could seem very difficult. You could spend a lot of time on this type of question if you don't find where you should begin looking for the information. Okay, nice work.